what's inside of the box part two <laughs> all right guys this will be the part two of my hand tools from germany hall let's get on inside of this box uh it's not much so it's gonna be a quick one all right gonna be using this made in Solagen Stalvilla well oiled blade loss free to open this up okay where do I open this up let's try it right here Oop. looks like it opens up this way yeah yeah There we go. Nice. Threw in a sticker. Love these stickers. Got the clear on it right here. Pretty cool. I do a little editing here, make it go a little quicker. Sweet. This is the all new Joker Spanner. What is exactly the name? Joker S. 6004 Joker S. Made in the check. Got this uh, new nice dangling uh, display here. Just like the other wrench I got. So you got three sizes for now. Uh, I did a little bit of searching on their, uh, they have an app too where you can uh, search all the products they have and there will be a larger one i think a smaller one or i think a medium and a large one I'm not 100 percent sure it's been a while since i looked it up so there will be more in the future all right let's see if we can go through this real fast here automatically and continuously self-setting with its automatically and continuously gripping parallel jaws the joker spanner 6004 covers all dimensions of in the respective field of application the tool automatically finds the required size when placed on the bolt or screw. No setting required. As the flat ends, gentle to the screw. Let's see how gentle it will be. The parallel smooth jaws of the Joker 6004 allow the surface pressure and thus prevent rounding of a bolt or screw head, which can occur during the power transmission on corners. Let me get you the other languages here. And ratchet mechanism for fast work. I guess the end right there is for fast work. And the ratchet function in the mouth sees too fast and consistent screw driving without removing the tool. I guess language barrier there. <laughs> and flat, and then I guess 30 degrees there. Low back pivoting angle, 30 degrees small return angle. Thanks to the corner width rectangular prisms, a back pivoting angle only if 30 degrees can be realized. Of only 30 degrees can be realized. Hmm. Have to see about that. We got a useful hole for hanging. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Let's get it open here. My trusty Knifex 74 21 200. So let's Clip it right there. That simple. And clip that one. All right, got the hanging hole. Nice soft finish. And 13 to 10. Pretty cool. Spring loaded. Let's get some good shots right here for you guys. Is that made out of rubber? That's no, that's plastic plastic and a smooth action right there so this is going to be your speed right here it uh, comes down to a point almost same here your grip right there looks like it's stamped rivet holding it all together the spring is well hidden inside i might be worried about uh, grime getting in there and gumming you up so far see that it's like holes cut out for lightweight. This one's only the 1310, so it's gonna be light. D 
the ratchets do feel heavy like this uh cyclop ratchet these are pretty beefy and heavy um but this one doesn't feel that heavy it's pretty thinned out right there nice ergonomic feel right there i actually have a test rig here with a 13 on it let's see how it works oh thumb grip okay thumb grip Okay, so it slides. Get a nice speed action here. Oh, I see. Okay. Goes on to the next corner. Let's try this in slow mo. And that bird is loud. <laughs> and then we got the. Uh, flats here for the rest of the way. Ah, okay. You got your flats. Let's get another shot here. Even works on the flats, I see. The spring is tight enough. So you, you do it on the ends. flats pretty cool so it's meant for speed this be just jittery all over the place if I do it right now but there we go the Joker 6004 s for small I believe 13 to 10 half inch to 716 pretty cool so let's see what we got next it look like it I think this is all of it these were on back order over there, hand tool from Germany. Here we have the Craftform Turbo. Pretty nice here. Also made in the Czech. Do not use as a pry bar or chisel. I will not. And then that's just a one times A26T. So one turn equals four turns on the end. You can also get it with a kit. So once again, nice packaging here. This is the uh, way it's gonna be displayed. Pretty cool. So let's do the grand entry here. <laughs> All right, do we get a sticker? was it <laughs> just a uh, nice little logo at the back not a sticker always pretty nice though to have these nice packaging ah. always well made okay enough of the packaging let's get on to the actual unit itself like more of a textured finish here different type of plastic and this is their normal plastic here and a button that says press on it pretty cool not bad Let's see uh, what the instruction is say so here we have the sets right here, the VDE set and the regular set. There you go. Basically the same stuff on the back of the box. And get you a nice shot of the gears right there. And we have faster screwing. The construction of the Craftform Turbo allows for a quadruplication of the speed when manually screw driving purely mechanical without electricity. Yep, no battery in there. If required, the turbo function can be activated by simply pressing a button. Turning it off is recommended for loosening or for fine adjustment and final tightening of the screw with a high torque. 14 newton meters, I guess. 
There you go. Handle interchangeable blade system. I guess it's this one with its nine millimeter mounting. The Craftform Turbo 827T is suitable for all Vera Craftform Compact VDE interchangeable blades. The holder interchangeable blade system stands for flexible working with many screw profiles. Robust maintenance, maintenance free gear made of steel, maximum torques 14 newton meters, never immerse the device in petrol, solvents, otherwise lubrication of the mechanics will be compromised. So, yeah, it doesn't look like, yeah, stuff can get in there, in there. This is the casing of the components. I'm pretty sure that will not pop open unless force is applied. We have a magnet easy system here. Let's try it out. Ah, there you go. Get those springs down there. Pop this out, pop it down. Very easy. And there you go. Pretty cool. The Vera A26T craft form. You push the button, locks right up. There's a lot of play. There's the play when it's locked up. Actually, I have a test rig here. Let's uh, test her on out here. Let's uh, actually put the turbo on. So, turbo away. There you go. That's how fast it is. And uh, let me see if I can tighten it all the way down. Let's try it this way. There we go. Get a downforce action on here. There we are. What I want to do right here is lock it up. So, nice assertive lock there. Tighten it up. And I want to show you the play right here. There is your play when it's locked up. Nothing sounds loose and janky, but that is your play when you want to get the torque on it. So there you go. The Craft Form Turbo. Once again, it is the 8-26T. And there's your part no, complete part number there. And then the Wera 6004. Your complete number should be that right there for the small one. The 6004 should find it a lot easier. And that completes the unboxing here. I don't want to go too long on this. Very nice. I'm going to get these to use. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys. And on to the next.